In this video, I'm going to work out an individual integral problem uh, just to kind of show you um, one possible uh, trick or manipulation that you can do to solve an integral. Let's say I've got the integral of sine x over 2 times cosine x over 2 dx. All right, now what I'm hoping is is that you can look at this and go, oh, I've got sine times cosine, and then what's going to come to mind is a double angle formula where I've got a sine times a cosine. Now, while this does not look exactly like what I need it to look like for any type of substitution, if I play around with this and manipulate this, then I can get it to look like this for an easy substitution, which will then make the integral a whole lot easier. All right, so to begin with, what I'm going to do, I just here have a sine times a cosine. So that 2 is creating a problem. So I'm going to manipulate this. I'm going to choose to divide both sides of this equation by 2 so that those 2's go away. All right, now I'm going to rewrite this as a 1 half sine 2x. All right, now I'm down to just a sine x cosine x. Okay, now, still not exactly what I've got here because this is sine x cosine x. I need this to be x over 2, x over 2. All right, so I'm going to replace all of my x's with x over 2. All right, so let's write that down. All right, we are going to replace our x's with x over 2 because that's what I need. And I'm going to replace it everywhere, okay? So in here, I will have a 1 half. Oops, that didn't look like 1 half. Sine and then 2 times an x over 2 equals sine, I'm going to replace it with my x over 2, and then cosine x over 2. All right, now we're going to look at this. We're going to do a little bit of simplifying right here. So those 2's are going to go away. So this left-hand side is going to be a 1 half sine x. All right, and then that right-hand side I am not going to do anything with because I now have it looking exactly like I need it to look. Okay, so I have manipulated that original double angle formula into something now that I can use. I've got sine of x over 2 times cosine of x over 2. Okay, so if this is equal to this, then I can replace this entire integral with 1 half sine x. And then as soon as I do that, it now becomes a very simple integral that we can work this out. All right, we can pull that one half out, so pull the one half out, and then I'm just integrating sine x dx, and the integral of sine x is going to be a negative cosine, so I'm going to have a negative one half cosine x plus c. So the bottom line here is being able to recognize this integral, having a lot of your different formulas memorized, such as your double angle formulas, so that you can recognize that and go, oh yeah, it's really, really close. And then with a little manipulation, you can manipulate it and end up doing a nice little substitution that makes the integral um, really simple from that point forward. Definitely, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.